Well, we're joined now by the pop music duo Tryon. We have Justin and Stephen Kirk. You might have seen Stephen here before. Yeah. Yes. Out of Charlotte, North Carolina, you were here last time with your brother Joe. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am, we were. It was a good time. Well, you weren't here. I wasn't yes. here. No. Now, Justin's right. here today. That's right. He's, now, is it usually you two then? It is. We are in a band, uh, Tryon, mm -hmm. and then Joe is a solo act, so right. he travels by himself, and I try to accompany him when we can, but uh, most of the time it's the two of us. And yeah. you guys are an awesome group. You have a big performance coming up this weekend yes, that everyone's looking forward to. Huntington Mall, Looking all you pretty girls it. come out. Yeah, you said you actually get really nervous when there's pretty girls out there watching. <sighs> yes, the prettier the girls, the more nervous I get. I, I yeah. truthfully, I, I really get nervous whenever women are around. I'm nervous <laughs> right now. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I'm definitely I nervous. see the sweat pouring <laughs> well, it's down. Just, it's you just the shakes, everything. Couldn't have anything to do with, you know, the thousands of people out there That's who true. are actually watching you right <laughs> yeah. now and ready to listen trying to, to you. to stay warm. Oh no goodness. pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's cold it's in here, too. Yeah, we don't blame you. But even before Huntington Mall, you guys had some really cool stuff going on. The biggest thing, I'm sorry, that caught my attention was that you opened for Carrie Underwood. Yes, we Talk did. Talk about that. Uh Carrie Underwood is amazing. She's a sweetheart. She gave up a sound check for us one time. Um, it was the weirdest thing. She's a mega star. And right. uh, she was like, you know, growing up, I, um, coming up in the music industry, I was taken advantage of a lot. And I was like cheated out of sound checks and I wasn't afforded the things that I have now. So you'll never miss a sound check. And um, I believe it was Ottawa, I think. Uh, we were delayed because of snow. Mm -hmm. And um, we had to cut our sound check and she came up she was like I'm skipping my sound check you can have your sound check so she gave up her sound check which was like 20 piece band background singers lights everything so that we could get up and do our sound check oh my and gosh. yeah I just gave I'll her a hug this. it was amazing she is literally as good as she is on the record live it's incredible. She's like, amazing. Mm -hmm. She's one of my favorites. Oh and I'm sure that that means something to you guys coming up in the music industry like you are. To have that kind of example set, is that something you're going to continue? Absolutely. I think it's all about paying it forward, you know, right. and, and, you know, we got into music to meet people. And so, uh, you know, connecting with people and treating them how you want to be treated is kind of the goal in life. So, um, you know, she really made an impact on us in the way she carried herself every night and the way she took care of mm -hmm. her whole crew and everybody else's crew. And it's just, you know, it's something to pass forward when we get to that point. So. Right. And you've worked with some other big names, at least people who have worked with, what, Backstreet Boys? Yeah. Insane. Shout out Gary Baker. I hope you're watching. Um, <laughs> he's uh, He's been amazing. He wrote, um, like, I Swear, I'm Already There, and so many songs for the Backstreet Boys. And um, awesome. he found us in Nashville. And he was like, you know, I own a studio here and I want you to come down and, you know, work through your sound and figure out where you want to go. And he just opened his doors and his arms to us and, and let us work until we found uh, who we are now, you know, and he's been such a help and such a godsend. He's the most nerve wracking. You want to talk about nervous. Gary, obviously with the name Gary, he's not a very attractive female, but still, with success like that, it was so nerve wracking. I mean, yeah. walking in. Trying to write a song with someone like that, it's like, you know, he, his song Like when he's like so a many. Grammy on the yeah. desk and you're just kind of oh like looking gosh. at this Grammy, it's crazy. Yeah, but you guys have the talent to back it up, that's for sure. And you Thank have you. this single that you're releasing right mm -hmm. now. We listened to a little bit of it back in the newsroom, both like, this is really good. Cool, I'm glad you <laughs> like it. So yeah, much. Thank it's you. called Somebody to, to Love, love me. me. Yep. Yes. And so you're, is that the one you're going to do for us today? Uh, yeah, we'll do that one for you today, yeah. Awesome. Right. And good. this is available right now actually on iTunes. And, re and I was reading that like this is on Disney Radio. Radio, I think. Mm. Like, it's really It's on Serious Hits around. 1 now I and Radio Disney Sirius and then we, yeah. we drop to the rest of the country on March 1st. So yeah. Oh, up okay. So are you nervous until March 1st? It's, it's really nerve-wracking because you know, you spend all this time in the studio making music and you share it with each other and you listen to it and you perfect it and you get it the best you can and then right. now like the whole country is going to hear it and right. all our friends awesome. are going to hear it so it's, it's kind of crazy. Really quick because we have to toss a break and then we're going to get to your music but we have to point out your gold shoes again because last yes, time you were here I love you gold. These awesome Dead. gold shoes. We yeah. posted this on Instagram. Ah, there they are. Yeah. Yes. And then we were talking you said now everywhere you go you're collecting gold shoes. Every, your thing. Everywhere I can go like I, every time I see a gold pair of shoes I, I try to grab some and you know, there's a lot of girls' gold shoes, not a lot of guys' gold shoes, yeah. so it's uh, few and far between. But when I find them, I, I try to grab them. So well, they are gold really shoes that'll lead to a golden record for sure. I think that's. I what love we this like woman. There thank you go. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. We're gonna hear from you in just a minute. So stick around.